It's time for my very first multiplayer game of Solium Infernum. Now, if you want the more extended intro and you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch, you can go to my YouTube and see my first playing of the single player tutorial where I talk a lot more about the history of this game. But the relevant bits as we go into multiplayer is that this game is basically civilization in hell. It's a turn-based strategy game. You've got your hex tile grids. You're trying to engage in diplomacy and move armies around and do stuff. But this was designed as a multiplayer focused, multiplayer first kind of gameplay experience. And in that regard, every player here takes their turn at the same time. And once everyone is submitted, all the turns resolve. I am playing with three of the devs. <laughs> hi, hi devs. You shouldn't say hi back because you shouldn't be watching this stream. It's cheating. We're playing with some of the devs from League of Geeks that sponsored today's stream. And we can play all at the same time. We can all sit together and take our turns on a Discord call, chat and hanging out. But I think the real brilliancy of Solium Infernum, uh, which was originally released in 2009, is that it is asynchronous. So you can imagine saying, hey, we're gonna set a turn timer. You need to take one a, a turn like you see here. You take a turn once a week. So maybe you have a bunch of busy lives, maybe your parents, but you wanna play a deep grand strategy game. So you're gonna play one turn a week or one turn a day. So that way you can play all 70, 80 turns of an entire match spread out over time. And so we're gonna to try to do everything right now, back to back to back. I'm ready to enter hell. All right. Conclave Pandemonian howls for replacement. You're an archfiend, ruler of the great house of hell. It's me. Yours is the right to claim the infernal throne, build your prestige, command your legions, and do etc. Okay. So there's... So here's Purple, who's here both to my northwest and my southwest. There's Mamon... The Unholy Fountains. This gives one prestige, this gives two prestige, this gives one prestige. Three, nine, and a mil. Okay, so I mean, I think I might be a real basic baby and just begin grabbing some cantons and work my way through. Okay, by the way, if you guys want to do some backseating, now I'm ready. I'm ready. And again, if you're watching on YouTube and you don't know how the game works, I literally uploaded my tutorial. I literally did. What are you doing? Tribute offering. Nice. No tribute offering. Nice. Some random resources. Okay. So by the way, I'm going for a prestige victory, just to be clear here. I'm not going to try to go attack Pandemonium right away. Oh my god, that is so much power. Okay. <laughs> blood for the blood god. <laughs> Wrong IP, my god. So I think... So I'm gonna cancel this. I think I'm literally just gonna do some tribute gathering and some movement, like here and here. So I'm gonna go to the Sanctum. I don't have any interest in creating any new schemes yet. I'm gonna honestly play pretty passively at the start. Vile apostates. 10,000 screaming bastards. Hey, it's Artosis' Twitch chat right here. Um, So this is relatively inexpensive, and this gives a little bit of boost to each of these. Oh, these are legions. What do I do? Praetor is what I'm interested in. Melee plus one. Can I afford anything? I'm broke. I mean, I'm literally just going to do the most basic starting turn of all time, and we're going to see what happens. God, I want to win so bad. Okay, so, I mean, one of the benefits of getting to play with devs is that they all actually know what they're doing. Now, I could read into what they're doing, but I'm ready to be fully reactive, because, like... This game, as I was saying in the previous segment, um, this game is like a board game with all the benefits of digital stuff. 
so you can easily track changes and numbers, updates and data, you know, resolve everything. I mean, you get to do the asynchronicity and so on. But whenever I'm learning a new Euro board game, I literally just chill. I just wait for things to happen and then respond accordingly until I actually begin to get the hang of the game. So select your tribute. Okay. Nice. So what do I actually need? I want to go to the bazaar, and honestly, I just want to get one of these Praetors. So I need I basically need more blood and souls no matter what. So here's blood. I mean, this is more souls, this is more souls. I'm just gonna say those are the two that I will get. A message. Erzabet has sent a messenger carrying a personalized note for you. You can choose to read it, or you can execute their messenger and mute the Archfiend from sending any further messages. <laughs> okay, this is a risk. This is a risk. Am I going to read what one of the devs said? Or should I execute the developer and block any future messages? Speak directly to my agency. <laughs> How dare you circumvent their role in my business. I'll accept the message, though, because I'm an absolute doormat. Greetings, neighbor. This war will be glorious. Wait, can I just... Oh! Oh my god! Oh, uh, I didn't realize I was gonna have to use my actual social skills in this game. <laughs> Howdy! <laughs> oh my god, there's a 666 character limit! <laughs> oh... Oh, okay, uh, I need... What, what would Astaroth the Dragon Knight actually say in character? Um, yeah, and, and outside of uh, submitting genitalia in ASCII. Yeah, and, and also not LOL, the Mayo even. Something about sharpening blades, that's it. Uh, Green's neighbor, this word will be glorious. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> May your blades be sharp. Exclamation mark. You can see, here's me trying to roleplay. This and this is because I'm Sean Plot. There we go. Okay. Auction concluded. Close quarters training has been purchased from the bazaar by an unknown archfiend. All right. So I'm literally going to go... Okay, so let's see, where, where's their troops? Yeah, so these troops can probably move this way, but we already have access to the Great Wheel of Pain. I just want to make sure I have access to this. All right. Um, I think I actually might, again, want more tribute. Because I really do need more souls to get a Praetor. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get tribute. And I'm going to move here and here. Nice. And let me just go back to the bazaar, because what happens under the manuscripts? Oh, they just keep going? Unbreakable stance. Th those things I didn't learn anything about. Artifacts. Range plus four, the Devil's Organ. I'm, liter I'm literally going to ignore this and just end the turn. All right. Can you imagine spending a Saturday with some of your buddies all just chilling and you're watching Netflix, having a beer, pretending to be a Lord of Hell? Oh my god! Eight and eight? Oh my god, I hope they throw. Am happy says that's my nine to five. LOL. I don't have to imagine it. I shop at Ikea and I'm a lord of hell. Yeah, yeah, chatters. I believe you so much. You're so tough. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you... 
use a coupon to get a great deal on eggs like I did recently, huh? Absolutely hellish. Did I do my math wrong? Oh my god, I did. How embarrassing. Oh my god, shame. Shame. Yeah, how 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 do these heal? How how do these heal? I did my math wrong because I forgot that the huge melee number was from my Praetor in the tutorial. Humiliation. All right, everyone loves Mammon. I mean, I literally am wearing the exact same threads, my 22 Prestige. Dusky Dudes to stand next to your stronghold or place power to heal a unit. Good, 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 excellent. So, actual backseat question. Do I... Am I still engaged in battle, or do I need to reissue another order to fight? Like, I don't actually know. I need to reissue? Okay. We want this. We definitely want this. So now we actually have enough to get ourselves ready to work. This is 13. This is melee plus one. Adds an additional to offerings. Unholy crucible. I see. Zool. I'm going to get Zool. Place bid. Let me just do auto select and see what's there. Yeah, because I mean, I needed so many blue drops. Why not? I'll pay one extra moon. And I'll order this to attack. Uh, and wait, if I'm understanding this, if I go to the bazaar and I look at this Praetor, this says adds an additional... That and that tribute tokens to offerings if attached to a place of power. What's, what's, what's an offering? How does that work? What is an offering? All right. Offerings are the stuff you get for free every five turns. Oh, that's right. Battle report. Stalemated. Legion 10,000 Screaming Bastards has been purchased by Mamon. So I don't want to insult anyone quite yet. Legion of Lemurs. Or excuse me, that's Lemurs. All right, whatever. Ending the turn. Ending the turn, ending the turn, ending the turn. Wouldn't it be sad if one of the devs was watching and tried to throw, but then also I was so bad that it didn't even matter? All right, all the turns are done. All right, I should have hovered over. Violet Derp Thousand Bit says, is this an offering? <laughs> I mean, not in a way that'll help me win the game, but it will actually help me buy my meat today, Violet Derp. Oh my god, wait, Villain could have actually fought that on that turn. And taken it from me. Okay. Yep, there's the melee, and then here's the infernal smite. So well lit today. I'm so emotionally lit as well. It's mine. Super lit. The littedest. So, question for the viewers at home.
So if I stand next to a place of power, I heal, but is that an order to stay there and heal? Or if I'm just adjacent at all, am I fine? So in other words, if I encircle my place of power, am I healing while I'm encircling it? It's adjacent, no order, it's automatic. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, it's the Striders from the Dark Crystal. So, yay, I'm number one. Oh, I'm the guy in the 5K race that sprints to the front right when the race starts and never ends in the top 50. You love to see it. Hey, thanks, David Thor. I had a lot of fun casting Hidden Cup. So let's see, I'm the regent. I'm the captain, so I can actually cut off the advance of our friend here. So let's go ahead and do this motion here. Chains of avarice. Avarice, excuse me. One bank offers you temporary dividend uh, calculated as a percentage of gross tribute, with a subdividend of unclaimed tribute payable on selection to a suitable third party account. Um, I don't know what this means. What does this mean? Hover over accept. Oh, I see. You draw to keep an additional token. You draw and keep an additional token when you seek tribute. Nice. Following turn, my mom receives any tokens that you discarded. This agreement lasts for five turns. You can break this agreement by becoming a blood vassal. Actually, yeah. So in other words, when I seek tribute, I will generate additional stuff. Tribute quality is down one. Draw three, keep two. So I assume that's not accepted yet. But yeah, no, it's a win-win for me and Mamon. Okay, so the next thing that, here's, so I'm doing this in kind of a slow order. First question, if I transfer this Praetor Zul here, this will be attached next turn, and next turn is turn five, so it won't be in effect. Okay, so let me let, so, so let me just share my thoughts out loud. This is a little bit of a mechanics question. So first of all, this this says unholy crucible adds an additional this and that resource. So that's Icker and Hellfire tribute tokens to offerings if attached to a place of power. My understanding is that offerings is just free money that's thrown at you every few turns. So suppose for a moment that my offering arrives on turn five. If I equip this, I know that, uh, so if I go back, I know that this will not, will be attached next turn. Does this mean that it gives me the bonus on the offering next turn? Or does it mean it will not give me the bonus because it only gets attached next turn? I, I, like, like so that's an actual, just like mechanical question. Hey, step on Legos, Mr. Day Nine, sir. Just want to stop by and say, I've been rewatching MLG Starcraft casting from ten years ago and love this town. Awesome. We'll have good news for you, step on Legos. We're doing Starcraft month at the end of March and all the way into April. I believe it will give you the bonus. That's great. Okay. Nice. Oh, we'll go on first, then you get it. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. March, end of March, April, and probably into May will be. Blizzard stuff. We're going to be StarCraft, Hearthstone, all the goodness. But for now, we're going to be ending our turn. By the way, sorry devs, I'm going to be playing slow and being quite chatty. I'm being real selfish here. So now I have blocked my pal. Tower Pride continuing to go down. Hexagrids are best of grids. You can never convince me of that. I'm a fan of the Pentagon.
I had to move order through that tile. It's been canceled. Yes, my turn. Yes. Yeah. Dude, Russ Paul, have a great sleep. And thanks again for the 90 months, man. I like how smooth the infinite map is. Ooh, yeah, I want to show that again. Because we were looking at that, like, let's see, two hours ago. But I know the attention span uh, of humanity these days is about 90 seconds. So. Conclave favorite. I'm so good. Take that, Trent Custers. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you that uh, have not noticed this. Oh, a demand received? Oh my god. Okay, so if I just start going up and left, do you see that it's just looping? See, here's me again. Oh, then I'm going to go straight up. Here's me again. I'm going to go straight to the right. Here's me again. It's a, it's a looping map. Um... So, so let me explain some of my current goals. Um, first goal that I want to do as quickly as possible is do this. So I definitely want to do that one. I've already blocked off my buddy. I'll probably work over here to the mouth of Abaddon. How much is that? 12 hit points, 9... Three. Okay, so we don't actually have quite enough power. Uh, but another thing that I actually want to do is I want to go to my Sanctum, and I want to purchase more powers. So, let's see. Because if I get to 4... Man, that is expensive. That re this requires Souls and Icker. Icker and... What is this called? Darkness? Three of them. Souls and Hellfire, so they all require some souls. Bully. Okay. Yeah, Iker. Iker, as opposed to Icor or Ishal. Um, do, do any of you have one that you recommend? Because, I mean, the fact of the matter is, if I can get to this fourth line, I unlock a third order. They're all so good. Why not Full Wrath? What is this? Legions adjacent to place power to gen one more. One more tactic to be added. Reconstitutes target from the brink of oblivion. Yeah, you know, why not? Okay, so I can't actually level it up. Oh, because I'm bro oh, because I'm broke. Bro, because I am broke. Okay, so so let's just. I hereby demand following tribute. Oh, I see. You're real close to me. Okay, let's come back to that. You draw and keep additional tokens when you see tribute. All right, great. So let's delete the tribute. All right. Tribute generated. And look at that. I have two and two, and that is the exact same as this. Unholy Crucible. Let's go. Uh, so let's see here. Conclave offering. Great. I received that. Battle report. Assignments. Zool has been attached, right? Auction. Okay. So I'm I'm being demanded some stuff. So I need I need to actually take a look at what's in my So here's a one and a one and a one. So I think I'm actually just gonna refuse this. Now, I could also go to the bazaar and see if there's any good Praetor to add. It's Boon! Dude, it's Boon! Ship the Boon, man! 
There's two extra hellfires, but I'm running low on blood. I, I, I know I keep saying blood. I know it's souls. But as far as I'm concerned, it's blood. I want to do this myself, though. There's my two. Do I... I literally don't have, like, any dropules. None? I don't have any dropules at all? All right. Auto-selective is... Purchased the rank. I don't remember what the rank does. Well, purple. Oh, this is actually bad. No, I think I'm actually okay. I think I'm actually okay. <laughs> Violet Derps' tutorial said take Boone. Sean will now take Boone forever. Sean is a simple man. It's true, it's Boone. Boon. Or Boon? Or Boone? Yeah. The amount that I care is so small because I am an archfiend of hell. No one tells me what to do. I pick Boon, I do it now. Alright. Alright. Time to refill up on some more gigantic water. Yeah, the soundtrack is quite nice. These absolutely look like the Striders in the Dark Crystal. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, because I spent 30 of it. Oh, of course. So, one of the things I wanted to check right now is... I'm on sends a message. Brother Astaroth, welcome to the warm embrace of the Mount Bank family. You'll find our business fruitful, if not distasteful. Let our fellow Archfiends squirm in the squalor of their poverty, to our mutual wealth. <laughs> Just, uh, I like the project. All right. I mean, <laughs> listen, they're just funnier than I am. I don't know, I like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? What, am I gonna try to sit here and compose something funny? They had all the time in the world. I just ended my turn. I'm busy trying to win. Remember since a messenger? Sure. The thunder of my vengeance will echo through the corridors of pandemonium like the gust of a thousand winds. League of Geeks says, this is how all emails are sent here at League of Geeks now. Yeah, oh man. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, hey, wait, League of Geeks, you're in chat. What are you doing in chat? We have backseating uh, mods, b ban the sponsor of the stream. All right, let me get out of here. Oh, I feel like... Uh, let's see. Um, the ash of hell will run thick with your blood, asshole. All right, cool. We did it. We did. It. We kind of stayed in character for a little bit, but then I came. Ah, this is a tough game to play. <laughs> and I even used the punctuation. All right, demand rejected. I refuse to concede to Earthbet's demand for tribute. They have lost the prestige wager used to make the demand, but now the ground's a debt against you. All right, so uh, my rank has increased. Okay. Auction one. Boon. You have awakened me to Boon. All right, so they are going to be able to go move one, move two. So this is two, six, three. This is eight and eight. And so what that means is this would take two damage and then five damage. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to transfer Praetor. We're gonna get Bune on here. Because, so they can't actually, they can attack my unholy fountain. 
Oh, adjacent units will also support. Yeah, actually, so so here here's a here's a combat question. Let me go to the encyclopedia. So let me let me go get out of this. And where is combat? Combat support strategic positioning. Uh, lands that combine any legion in a canton adjacent to a battle is said to be in support. Supporting legions adds a bonus of half their own attributes rounded down. Okay, so right now, so this is this is contributing one and four. So this is actually three and ten. Three and ten. Still get taken out there. Damn, that logo's covering up the turn order. I don't, I don't know where else for my branding to go. Despi, get off the arrow keys. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go to diplomacy. Man rejected. Let me conduct some diplomacy here. So can I I I am I'm just disallowed from some of these things because they have a vendetta against me. Is that accurate accurate? Returns. I see. And that's so cool. Okay. All right. So I see. So if I add Boone here, because thing is that, like, so purple is the regent. So if, if we just look at the diplomacy, like, their turn resolves first. And then it's going to be Murmurs, and then it's going to be me, Astaroth. They have a diplomacy message pending. Any diplomatic actions kind of block all the others. Okay. Oh, that's what I... That's what I sent. Oh, God, get me out of here. I don't want to look at my, my mediocre jokes. Fused concede. Oh, I did that on this turn. I did that on this turn. Okay. So the, the the vendetta starts next turn. Because there is a diplomatic exchange going on between us, I cannot begin another diplomatic exchange. Oh, okay. Okay, things are happening more slowly than I sort of was able to track that they would. So I'm actually going to seek tribute and swap the order of these two. And I'm just, I'm literally going to chill. And then I can probably crack back and begin to conquer down this way. Okay, I'm just going to end the turn. I'm going to end the turn. I'm going to end the turn. Oh, that's a lot of forces. Ritual successful? What's Dark Augury do? I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll tell me next turn. Okay. Okay. Now, but I, I am a higher rank than everyone. Because I am the captain. Select my tribute. Okay, so I generally have been needing a lot of ichor. Here's some ichor. There is three moon. Hmm. Oh, I get four. Yo, that's insane. Erzbet sends a message. How dare you steal Bune's loyalty from me? For this you will pay dearly. 
<laughs> Bune is mine and mine alone. You're welcome to try to take him. If you dare. I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it. Conclave uh, proclamation. Oh, in three turns. Okay. Conclave proclamation. Vendetta declared. Understood. One more victory to level up. Okay. Your domain was targeted by a ritual dark augury, which proved too strong for your resistance. Pathetic. Murmur appears to be responsible. What? What murmur? Are you serious? Literally was just like, let's look down on how poor the other archfiends will be. A high five, bro. And then you're logging into my Facebook, which I don't have because I deleted it eight years ago. But that's still a lot of personal information there. Gilfax says, does the game have a built-in language model or something? Well, there's four humans playing and we're typing to each other. So I don't know if you'd consider me a language model. I'm not built into the game. I'm sort of... There's an API I'm using known as my keyboard. Mm. Eh. Gilfax says, oh, haha. <laughs> it's uh, the keyboard API is another thing that my cat also uses very regularly. She's down here just hanging out. Yeah, I'm DLC. Please, subscribe to me for $4.99 a month. Okay, assignments. Bune. Praetor Home has been purchased. So, are these the ones that I want? I think so. And I, I think I actually want to, again, do tribute. Because I'm still under... Defend from yourself, Merzbeth. Something out of something turns. What's even in the bazaar? So the vendetta is active, so they can come in and attack me. They might want to go for my unholy fountain. I kind of want to rank myself, or not rank myself up, but power myself up. Seven of those? Can I do double tribute? I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to go double tribute. Because Murmur's thing with me, Chains of... Chains of Avarice. Yeah. Because Mammon has done the Chains of Avarice, we get bonus pickups whenever we collect tributes, so that's why I'm double tributing this turn. Because I think I really want a lot of resources. Are you liter are you legitimately going to kill me? What? Oh, 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 I th I'm, I'm sorry, I thought I was going into battle. Thanks to an old petition found beneath a pile of human bones in the committee chambers, a legion belonging to Murmur has received a high-grade promotion. They march with a newfound arrogance. Okay. So we're not in a blood feud, but they have been claiming my land, which is just absolute turkey town moves. Let's go ahead and just look at our tributes. We have some good stuff here. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't think I understand this. Event card played. I mean, this art's beautiful. So, Murmur just has 10,000 Screaming Bastards. Where's Murmur's other stuff? Oh, 
Okay. So they might just have the quest to claim a lot of my stuff. New favorite, that's fine. I am the regent. Each archfew may select a legion to send to the war against heaven for three six turns. Close the bazaar. All right, simplify the game. Absolutely, that's what we're doing. Vendetta continues. Enemy rank increased. Oh, they're now known as Murmur Marquex of Hell. I see. Another battle report. Bazaar. Okay. So. Much icker as I can get. Okay, and now that allows me to go. I'm gonna go go to here. Oops. One and two. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sanctum. Go to rank. Not ranks, you need powers. And now I can afford this. I should have the right amount. So then, Undying Vigor, and if I go look at my rituals, Elocution. Ooh, that's... Say Icker again. Icker. You know, I could... Well, if they're they go one, two, yeah, no, this is this is where I want to go. Ooh, whoops! Thought I selected this one. Close the bazaar. Whoa, that's nice. All right, Mammon, please enjoy some free stuff. Here I go. I'm going to try to get to four Wrath right away, because I'm a simple baby. And that'll give me another order slot, which I think is good. Oh, no. no. oh it's pronounced i, -core. I i i I do not like the way that they're... There's some words that I really don't like the way that they're supposed to be pronounced. Like, for instance... Eidolon is actually pronounced Eidolon. And I don't like that. It's an Eidolon. That's the right one to say. It's an Eidolon. Eidolon of destruction. Summon the Eidolons. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm never going to say Eidolon. <laughs> Almighty Bobina says, no, you, Delon. Right? No, it, it, it's... Holy warriors carved a path into hell and brought ruin upon the house of Erzabet, destroying items in their vault and humbling them to 10% of their prestige before the conclave. What? Whoever did this art is unbelievable, by the way. All right. Battle. I don't like seeing Mamon stocking up against me here. And ritual chamber. Yeah. Oops. So I'm going to confirm this. No. This is 088, right? So. I'm, I'm just doing this because I can. Not because I think it's good. Want to enfeeble the melee? Nice. 
then I actually want to swap this order. And as a question, actual backseat question, this says Saps target will temporarily reducing one of their attributes by two to four. It says temporarily. How temporarily? How temporarily? Arthritic One says, is there a decent tutorial in the game? I played it. I, I mean, I, I'm slow as hell when I play, but it took me maybe... hour and a half, and I could have done it in 30 minutes. It's going as long as I pay. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so bad. Okay, I didn't realize. All right, get me out of there. All right, I need to, I need to look in the bazaar next turn. surprised. Elocution. I'm not sure what it is. Alright. Give me back my cantons. There's a bat. Oh my god. Ooh. This vote on edict. Choose one a guillotine. All right, a guillotine is a reminder that ones incite rebellions. Wait, 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 wait. Conclave is called upon a vote. Select one option to cast your vote upon. The results will be announced next turn. A guillotine is a reminder that one's household staff can be as subversive as they are subservient. The more influential you are, the more rebellious there are to quash. Or more rebellions there are to quash. A successful candidate will lose control of the number of places of power equal to their rank. Okay, so if I go back to diplomacy... And how do I see the ranks of these turkeys? Uh, uh, how do I see ranks? How do I see ranks? Where's the ranks? How do I see the ranks? It's listed under their name. Ah, Marquis, Baron. Marquis. So Murmur is a Marquex. Okay, hold on. Let me go back to the Sanctum. Ranktum. Marquis Duke Prince. Okay, so it's just it's just a gendered term. Is that what it is? Marquis, 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 and what were the ranks again? Baron, Marquis, Duke, Prince. Alright, well. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna vote on my friend. What? I failed to hold off Urzabet from successfully? Oh my god. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Uh, it's time for some diplomacy. Urzabet. Or uh, tribute tokens. Confirm. <gasps> Savory Cookies is unsure that Sean knows the difference between Mammon and Murmur. Yeah, I, d I don't know the difference between two words that begin with that. Those are the same word. There's actually three players in the game. So it might have just been like grab more territory, but I'm just immediately going to crack back. Let's see, there's a demand. And if I go to the bazaar... So how much in my in my sanctum? This costs fifteen stuff, huh? I kind of want to rush up for this. Remember your unique diplomatic power, Sean. No, I didn't. I didn't at all. I 
So let me cancel this. So I can't even afford to wager this. Got it. Quest to be vassalized. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna demand for now. So I'm like absolutely prestigeless. I'm maidenless, dude. Okay, let me, so let's see here. So basically, if I look in the ritual chamber at some of my things, Yo, I'm trapped? I can't move. Dude, my army can't move. So I, I don't think I can actually do anything here. Am I am I doing too much tribute grabbing? Maybe I should actually should be bizarre. Let's let's do this. I'm gonna vote on Elizabeth. Because I'm mad. So let me try something else fast here. Can I move through? Oh I can move through the base. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna demand. All right, so I'm hoping that she loses the Great Wheel of Pain. And then... Mm. You know, actually, I'm gonna cancel this this move order. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. If this vote goes through, I will have... I will have turn order advantage. If the vote goes through, and Urzabet loses. Murmur will be regent, so then I will go before Urzabet. And if she loses, she will lose her Great Wheel of Pain. So if I stay there, I can immediately retake it on the following turn. Eat shit. Now, because of that, I'm just going to seek tribute once more on this higher rank. And I've demanded from Urzabet. So I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. Also could use that sorcery that gives you an extra vote. Yeah. I claim more. Oh, that's mean. Mouth of a bad one. Okay. Wheel of power. Oh my god, yes. Souls, souls, and all of these. The votes are in. Dude. I switched it at the last second. It would have been one and one and one and one, but I actually had an extra vote, so I managed to get in. So, goodness. Goodness. So let's see here. So my powers, I can get there with 15. 15 Icker. All right, got the demand. So, I mean, honestly, if I win this, I might just kind of cut down this way, cut her off. You know what, is it actually pronounced Icor? I could swear it's pronounced Icor. Okay, hold on. I'm going to my dictionary app. 
thicker. All right, I'm turning it up. Icor. It's not pronounced Icor in any dictionary. Icor is certainly funnier to say that. Icor. Okay. So. So, what one of my actions is certainly going to be. To attack this. Certainly. I don't quite have enough damage. Alright, you know, you know, I, I'm just gonna do ritual and I'm gonna enfeeble this thing. Can I not do this? So if, if I did this, can I do the Great Wheel of Pain? I can do this, right? So then I want to swap the order of these so this gets enfeebled first. Wait, I don't need to do this. I did the math wrong, because 3 to 0 is 3, 13 to this. Oh, yeah, I keep doing this math wrong. Okay. So, actual backseat question. One of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to have the blood of Astaroth take the Great Wheel of Pain. That's one of the things that I want to do. I've been seeking tribute, but I kind of want to do something different. I just am in the mood to do some different stuff. I mean, I want to get Master of War all the way leveled up, and all these appear to be taking so many souls. Get a second Legion? Yeah, why not? Ignores movement and combat penalties applied by Swarm. I mean, why not? Why not? Get me out of here. So, oh, God. So let's see here. Rokist Archfiend in hell, dude. It sucks. You know, I'm just going to get this because I can afford it. Place in the bid. Auto pay. I can get the exact season amount. Okay. I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Yep. Need to capture three cantons. Rats. All right. And if I go... Oh, my God. I forgot about schemes. I'm doing a scheme next turn. I'm doing a scheme. I'm scheming. I just forgot about schemes. Three to zero in range. And then three to 13 is ten. And we now own the Great Wheel of Power. Yeah, gotta save up for that order slot. That's kinda where I'm at. That's kinda, kinda, kinda where I'm at. Lauren Wang says, Schemers all famously declare out loud when they're about to scheme. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, yes. So why, why, why would you go pick off one of these striders? Oh, I guess it's just to level up your enslaved Diversivac. Level 
Fills up your legion. Potions are good. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> it's my guys. Hello. The Meowth of Abiaden. I'm the regent now. Urzabet still has not ranked up. All right, demand rejected. Uh, you must submit a Praetor to the Grand Arena and wager prestige. Your champion will be victorious. So I have I have Praetor Bune. Huh. All right, yeah. Promote these guys. We're just gonna we're just gonna one shot. Okay, so that's good there. You all the regent. Like this. Option one. Alright, plans are in motion. Armor started a scheme. Adversaries bicker. Demand made. Demand rejected. <laughs> Battle report. I've done it. Action concluded. Bazaar. Okay. I declare the vendetta. Hmm. Gross. There's no more places of power, huh? Nunzo Dunzo. So, I mean, I could, I could just take three cantons. Kind of kind of trivially easily. So let's see here. So they take plus four damage during ranged. So this would be seven plus four, so this would just fucking instantly smash us. They don't actually have a Praetor, right? <laughs> so they, they have to sign theirs later. So I don't think I want to do that. Get a turn to buy one. All right, I'm going to declare a Vendetta. So we could also do we could do a stratagem on this guy. Because this is immediately just gonna be one, two, gotten it. Important to note, you can only capture one canton per legion per turn. One, two, three. Move here, shoot there, one, two, three. Okay, so this stratagem. Devise a stratagem. I even want to fight this thing. Uh, 
Okay. Let me actually see. Choose again. Player Vendetta, set the terms. Capture territory. Capture the max. Wager the max. Yeah, because what I can do... Oops. I, I keep... Okay. So we now we now have two of these. So that's one and one, and then two and two and three and three. Because if I if I capture this Canton and this Canton, immediately this dude cannot move there. I want to give yourself an extra turn. Okay, how how much would that? All right, you know what? Fine. Fine. Because this is a coward's stream, and you've convinced me. And let me let me go to the bazaar and see if I can get another Praetor. Uh -huh. Barbados. That's kind of an awkward amount of cash, huh? Whatever I'm ignoring. I'm not going to overthink it. And... Alright, ending the turn. I think it's the last I'm ever going to spend on Icker because I really want to get to level 4 Wrath. Nice. Superb. Yeah, the good cracks. All right, nice. I mean, this might be doing my shit a little face up, but that's fine. Okay. So I think I'm gonna make some demands of people. I think I'm gonna demand things of people. And, because if I can really focus on Powering up my armies. Okay. Emergency vote. It says the candidate will have all of their event cards confiscated. I'm 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 actually a little worried about our friend here. A little worried about our friend Mamon. There's a bet. All right. So. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this hero, if I moved here, that claims a Canton. This guy, if I go here. Why is it letting me move here again? Is it that I can move two, but I only capture one? Move freely, but you only capture one. as much as you want through territory. Oh, I see. So I can just, I see. Okay, all right, this is the game. I won Barbados. Adversary's bigger. All right, so I'm gonna end this.
The vial moves to a location. It doesn't march. I see what that means now. I assumed it was flying so I could, like, zigzag around. Dude, everyone else is... I'm not the last person to take their turn. Well, well, well. All right, my cat's demanding tribute. That's fine. We'll do some tummy time. Should have assigned the new Praetor to the second legion. That takes an action, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I didn't. I did not want to do that. You have time for role playing now. Yeah, yeah. You take your turn and then you send insulting messages to each other in character. <laughs> okay. Time to compose a vile email. I know, just an absolutely dirty, filthy one. My, my turns are going to be pretty straightforward for a little bit. But given that I have a Vendetta declared, I don't think I can actually, like, really do very much, huh? Urzabet went way down this way, and is coming in from this side. Oh, shit. The map loops. Oh, my God. Look at my my little thing captured two. Four. Yeah, I think this game doesn't work unless you actually have the wrap. It's just way too risky to step outside. Wait, what? What what? Wait, what's happened? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, this scared the shit out of me. So I don't actually know how the math of this works. Like if I capture six, let's say I capture five cantons and then my opponent captures one of mine, does that bring it back down again? I don't really care what you're capturing. That's good news. No way. Oh my God, my unholy fountain, come on. Zul got stolen. Zul gets stolen? What kind of mechanic is that in hell? They should be a lot more tender and thoughtful for people when they get their shit destroyed in hell. Oh my god. I can't believe something unkind happened to me in hell. Hey, Entropy. Great to see Abby. 73 months. How's the kiddo? He's not dead now. So Zul's just there, huh? Zul's just chilling.
I don't believe this. Insult received. I hear I formally insult your deeds, your domain, and your infernal personage. You accept the insult. Remember, receives a prestige wager deducted from your prestige. Remember, we cannot insult each other for three turns. And where's Murmur's territory here, huh? <laughs> Murmur is also purple. How do you get to my... Okay, you're way down there, dude. Wow. So here's purple. More purple. Where am I with respect to pandemonium? I can actually invade you down here. What Praetors do you have? I'm dueling. Nice. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna see what happens, because I've never done it. New favorite, okay. Murmur has Unseer Urzabet, nice. Vendetta continues, nice. Enemy rank increased, sure. Duchess? Wait, 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 wait. She's a duchess now? Can you skip Baron and go straight to Duke? Or do you have to go Baron to Marquis to Duke? Cause she she was a Marquex, right? Cannot skip. That's fair. That's, that's fair. I think that's fair. Sorry, I need to do something. I need to see when the optometrist closes. They just told me that my contacts are here and I need them. They close at 6 p.m. All right. Perfect. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna succeed in my vendetta and I'm not gonna worry about it that much. Oh, that's gonna be not so good for the gilded of Maman. Wow, just standing right on those corpses, man. Does it become empurpled? Oh, I see battle, and then you walk through and then claim that. Sure. So here we can complete the meta. Okay, so, so we completed the Vendetta. What are you? I think I, can, I think I can kill that. I think I can take that one out. I'm the best. All right. My mom's still a Baron. Your gig says, also the combat in this game is more Civ 6-ish than Age of Wonders 4-ish. It, it actually feels like not quite similar to either of them. Like, not quite. It has its own kind of relatively simplistic combat exchange. But it's, it's in the context of a bunch of other systems. With extremely limited actions per turn. Leviathan Rising. Oh my god. The Abyss Leviathan has come roaring up from the depths to remind the Fallen who truly rules hell. And it will seek to cast down one place power per Archfiend, turning them to a neutral state. Okay. What? Abyssal Healing. Okay, this is the game. Yeah, that's successful. Hey, I got a bunch of prestige. I'm regent. 
Oh, 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 I just looked at this. Okay. Adversaries bicker. Dual preparations. Great. So I think it's time for some diplomacy. So I want to see something. So if I look under my diplomatic menu, once declared, Draconic Grazia allows both Archfiends to invade each other's territory for one turn without requiring a vendetta. So this says Prestige Wager. So when it says Prestige Wager, I think of Wager as like a bet where I can potentially lose the bet and the 15 goes away, or is this just like a cost? Like I spend 15 prestige for permission to be able to attack. Yeah. Let's go where's bet. gonna gobble some tribute for a moment here. Mm. I'm scared of this Leviathan. I'm actually just gonna do this and wait. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe I can't. I mean, what, what I actually need is to somehow start on melee. Because, like, if I go to the... Oh, give me out here. Wait, Praetor Duel commences? Crowd salivates? You must select a move? What is this system? What the, what is this? I should just do this? Rock, paper, scissors from looking at the diagram? No. What? Move, so this is move rules. All right. I, I, I literally have no idea what anyone is. So, Dusky Dude says, for duel, who gets the higher number wins. The number is the Praetor level, plus skill chosen, not block, plus charisma level, win bribe. So, l l let, me, let me start with just this. What does this mean? It says move rules. So when I when I hear move, I think physical move. Or is this actually the like circle beats snake beats skull beats? So these are rock paper scissors. 
Okay, so for instance, if I play this, if I do Feral Lunge, Feral Lunge will beat either of these. And if my opponent plays this, then we're tied. Is that right? So, oh my god, it's so hard to ask a question in chat sometimes because there's like so many different people that say things. But then like afterwards, don't they have like two of these that beats my things? Playing skull, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna ignore everything else. Demand delivered. Serious bicker. Can I can I do another? Can I just like insult more people? Yeah. I'm in the middle of a diplomatic predator duel. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Unless a bribe occurs. Oh, can they bribe to beat me? Uh-oh. Well, that's... Well, that's bad. All right. Who's the opponent? It was Murmur. I'm insulting Mammon. You're not insulting. I'm demanding from Mammon. I'm demanding from Urzabeth. Demanding from everybody. Okay. So I'm just getting into position for whenever it's time to take the unholy. He just walks. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Diplomatic response. Oh my god. Demand delivered. Yes. Adversaries bicker. Yeah. Battle report. Yeah. Auction concluded. Yeah. Alright. I'm, I'm ready to go to the bazaar. I'm ready to buy some things. I don't want to do anything that costs souls. Everything costs souls these days. Oh no, I, I want nothing that costs Icker. I can spend. Hold on. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I go here and go here. Bowl of abject darkness. I can afford that. So we need to consolidate. So, what do I need for this? 
how do I exit this? So I want to consolidate and place a bid. I need nine of those and 13 of those. Oh, because nine is the maximum. Where's my little soul buds? Okay, where, where's the ones that are two right siders? None? I don't have any right siders at all? That totally sucks. Damn this infernal mathematics. Six and nine. Nice. And then we're going to place the bid. What? Alright, so I guess we can't consolidate and buy with consolidated stuff in the same turn. All right, gotta wait. Have to wait. Gotta wait. What can I say? It's time to wait. All right. Everything requires an order. I should have to message my optometrist. Yeah, so I have to get to my optometrist. Uh, none of this is relevant, but I'm just waiting while the turn's happening. So, summon devour. Uh, one thing that happened with my optometrist is that I ordered my contacts, and they're just... Not showing up, not showing up, and not showing up. And, like, I'm out of contacts, so they gave me a temp lens, but it's not quite in the correct description. So my left eye is just feeling wonky. So I'm like, please, 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 please. Let me know when my contacts are here. Great Wheel of Pain is going to go, and I'll be able to reclaim that in a moment. I looked away while I was texting. Murmur. What is this? What? What? I'm, I'm a little worried about my dudes. All right, select my tribute. Demand rejected. Huh. All right, so I need to... Do I, what, what, what can I do? What can I do against my mom? This is an issue. This is an issue. You know what? How do I see the Praetors of my opponent? 
Here's my mom. I'm actually just going to get this bowl of abject darkness. Where's my huge token? There it is. I don't think that this will destroy my guy. I assume he'll go over the top. So this is my game. Oops. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Alright, so that, that's consuming a lot of souls for our yellow player. Probably has to go for, like, just the hard win. So we should take four damage here. Wait, what? It doesn't take... Oh my god, I assumed that it would be zero plus four. No way! I had no idea it worked that way. Yeah, I need to get I need to get the extra order slot as quickly as I possibly can. Look at this guy. It's like a rock that got mad. Okay, good. And then I can retake this. Getting some nearby boosts, and it immediately gets one shot. <laughs> Too cool for Zool. All right, I gotta go reclaim this when I can, and I think I actually have turn priority here. Alright, I mean, I'm, I'm vaguely working my way towards 60. Nice. Okay, I'm the regent. A random Archfiend is targeted with slanderous lies? Absolutely, that sounds awesome. Fresh produce. Okay, so... I think the most important thing for me right now is just to get 15 Icker. I mean, frankly, I really, I really want to do this. So it should be going up, right? Did this, then it did this, then it did that. So it needs to go up to here, right? I think. Yeah, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, I have some simple turns. I'm just gonna be seeking tribute. This is all I'm gonna do. I just need a lot of tribute. How do we gain Icar? I mean, basically tribute is the only way that I saw to gain it or demanding it from people. So, if I can get that, then what's my goal? Because... Yeah, I just... Oh wait, th there was the bid that we put in. What, how do I get that bid? See, I really want this guy back, because then I can get the Unholy Crucible. Have we forgotten schemes? Yes! Oh my god, I forgot schemes! Oh my god, I forgot schemes! I forgot a scheme. Okay. Also not seeing on the first action decreases the quality of the tributes. That's true. But 
I really wanted to make sure that I was able to get hold of the um, of this thing first. I really wanted to make sure of that. Okay. And there, there's that. What does this do? Evil Sanctuary? Yeah. So I'm just going to equip that. Um, so here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to seek tribute for a little bit. I'm chilling. I'm just chilling. prestige generator I will say it, it is so freeing and liberating to just do two orders a day and maybe later three orders a day that is so nice I don't have to spend all this time trying to decide the 15 right things to do I mean, really, I just, I just want 15 ichor. I'm gonna do anything I can to get more ichor. I actually have a good amount of cash, and then I really need to do this as soon as possible after that. Yeah, this is this is multiplayer right now for sure. Hmm. Yes, I am well aware that these event cards need to be played from the sanctum. Onward, myth truths. Enterby says, I bet that helps the end game not spiral out of control like Forex games tend to. I think it's critical if you're like a multiplayer game to make sure that there's some sort of controllability of the game. What's the cost of Duke? I think it's 60. And then Prince is, is unknown. Oh, everything ended. And 22. I'm the favorite, probably because everyone else is leveling up. Okay. What is... Where, where'd the thing go? Where'd the devourer go? Did they run out of... We have enough souls. Uh, let's see here. Where's the nearest that this turkey is? That's Urzabeth. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, no, I'm gonna I reject this. Okay. So I mean, I'm doing two tributes, baby. I'm gonna briefly check the bazaar. You have Solomon? Wow. What does this little book thing mean? Malevolent retaliation. Oh, it means you have the money, but you have to make a big coin first. Okay, whatever. We're just going to end the turn. Ace Rimmer, Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be coming up. We're, we're, we're taking a sort of extended hiatus from it. Definitely want this. I want 
more souls, souls and hellfire. Oh, so bad on the Icker. How far away am I? 15? Okay, so if I then buy myself up another rank, the Duke, and then I do tribute. Ugh. Just how pumped am I for the Elden Ring DLC? Insanely much. Okay. Understood. Yeah, no, bring it on, Murmur. So I, I'm, I'm in a holding pattern with respect to Murmur. Does ranking up before the tribute improve the tribute? I'm not sure. Sergen Bo. Benelow Games, I'm so excited for Elden Ring DLC. I mean, literally, literally, let me, let me, wh while I'm waiting for my turn, let me talk about the upcoming stuff, right? Because obviously I was saying tomorrow I'm doing like Last Epoch, doing some Balatro, some Deep Rock, uh, Galactic Survivor, and something for mostly walking. Um, and then coming up, I have GDC, and then we're going to be doing Blizzard Month. We're going to be doing some StarCraft, some World of Warcraft, some Hearthstone, some Gears of the Storm. It's going to be good stuff. And then, theoretically, Stormgate is in their early access, theoretically. Um, I say theoretically because I don't think that they've shared a specific release date. Um, and then, on June 21st, it's the Elden Ring DLC. So, like, I just kind of feel like I have the entire next few months really sharply and clearly known. All right. Oh, no. Sure. I'm the regent, new conclave favorite. My rank has been increased. Receive more tokens. Vendetta declared. Okay, so where where's my where's my purple pal? The accused of murmur. 2x range damage dealt? No way. Okay. I want this as my first action. Certainly, I want that as my first action. And then as my second action... Well, I mean, the only thing that happens is that it would be prestige on the line. One, two... So, this is actually fine. So, I will actually... Okay, so I'm going to collect Tribute, and then I'm going to do the Stratagem, which is Reduce Ranged. Auto Select, okay. Because now, in this situation, my opponent can go 1-2, or can go 1-2, but is still not in close enough range to hose us. So I'm actually going to commit, like... Oops. Oh. Wait a minute. You are rewarded simply for being you and receiving a high amount... Amount of high-value tribute. Alright, I'll select that for now. And if I go here... Let me actually briefly remove this. Uh. Hmm. Is 
So we're gonna do this. Oh, I thought the event cards, I was stockpiling a collection of cards. So I thought because I was doing that, I could play them at any point. It looks like there's only one that I can do. Okay. Now, do I want to get a stratagem? Or do I want to... Because I kind of want to be able to do this reduce... This is 3 to 17, so I would smite them. Dude, I'm going to do a scheme, because I keep forgetting about this. Done. Ujo Joey says, when did you last look at Hearthstone? Uh, the end of 2018, Ujo Joey. And I have not looked, period. Can't believe I forgot about schemes. I'll be honest, I can absolutely imagine that. Oh, that's bad. So let's see here. Uh, the Vendetta continues. Great. Infernal Affliction. Which proved to be too strong. Murmur appears to be responsible. The blood of Astroth has taken four damage. And then healed two because of that. Great. I generated tribute. Big shout out. Tribute offering. All right. All right. Okay. So one of the act actions that I'm going to do there for... Is this so that feels good Cruise, MPI. so I think that my opponent Like scheme. So I'm going to declare. Uh, mm. Alright, that's going to be my scheme. Alright. Oh my god. I, I'm pretty sure that their goal is just to destroy one of my dudes, and I'm just going to let him destroy my dude. So, so I mean, I will, I will continue to point out the fact that in this game, this timer up here is how long I have to take my turn if I were not just in the hot seat playing turns back to back to back to back to back. What I could do is I could play the game like, just take one turn, close it, and move on. Or maybe have five games at once, where I take one turn a week, log in on like a Tuesday night, and just go bam, 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 bam. Jesus, range vulnerability, yeah. That was like, that's like an insane thing. See, I, I could have just tried to dart away, but I kind of want to just keep trying to level up. I don't really do terribly much with these guys anyways. Digging these cost me five prestige. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Life is a crime, dragon. That is so unfair of you to say. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, what do we say? What do we say to Murma? Hmm. 
All right, I welcome your death. Sent, ship it. Calls hat dumb. It's so hard, it's so hard not to ship post. Yeah, stop your murmuring. Power upgraded, yes. All right, so let me, let me actually go here and go to my... So, Tartarian Pathfinding. Target becomes recklessly sure-footed, ignoring movement restrictions imposed by diplomacy and lava. Not affect their ability to capture cantons or engage in combat. Okay. So, I want, I want to go to diplomacy. Insult. Extort. What's this? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, where, where's... This is all murmur stuff? All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'll be honest. One of the things that I'm going to do is extort murmur. Artifact. No, give me a Praetor. Uh, so that's one of the things. Oops. I'm going to go to the bazaar. Iron Maiden of Insatiable Thirst. Let's see. Oh, that's right. You can do this thing. Eleven and nine, so I'm gonna need I need diagonal. Let's sort this. Here's a diagonal. Here's a diagonal. Let's see here. Okay, what else can I do? Insufficient tribute for- No, you're joking me. Okay. So I'm getting to the point- Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's get some schemes going, huh? Yeah, seems good enough. Seems good enough, because I'm, I... Because this is a short game. This ends in like 40 to 50 turns, is that right? Okay. Pretty uneventful turn, not a lot of movement. This is a 30 turn game, really? Conclave vaguely remembers a long time ago when great armies clashed and soldiers died in their thousands. Well, reminiscing last, they will reward feats of combat with threefold prestige for five turns. Defeat a legion in the same turn you used an infernal affliction. Assemble on turn 40. Oh my god. Declare it privately. Try that to me. That has to find yourself. Received. Yeah. 
reject, 100%. Extortion has been delivered. Conclave proclamation. Okay, that'll be there soon. Extortion's delivered. Great. Plans are in motion. Great. Okay. So what are my objectives now? Capture two places of power controlled by anybody. So this isn't controlled by a single person. So I feel like I may as well just like... Do a quick one, huh? Okay, so I'm actually gonna do this. Then I'm going to devise a stratagem of reduced range. Create that stratagem, which I can totally afford. Pay that. And then I'm going to go to the bazaar, and I'm going to buy myself that book. So we're getting some good stuff going. Man! Oh, I can unlock another order slot? Yo! So then what should happen is I should be able to go from here straight in. And capture the Tower of Pride and the Garden of Infernal Delights. Tex until it dies, says I'm loving how good indies and a double A game seem to be doing recently. Oh, it's so true, right? It's just been it's been killer. It has been killer. Oh, she might vendetta me, huh? Let's go to the bazaar and see if there's another good predator I can whip on that guy. That looks very good. And I can't afford any of that. Alright. Back to devising stratagems. Auto select. And this is 0 and 17. You do have 18, that's pretty good. Alright, I'm ending the turn. Alright. Man. Double A games. You want a good one? Oh, really? You haven't heard that phrase? I mean, it's it's been used increasingly, like crazy frequently. People love using the phrase "double A games" lately to try to just describe something that doesn't have these completely unnecessarily over-the-top production values, but is also not like a pixel art indie game, like something in between. Them. And then there's Skull and Bones, which is a quadruple A game. I forgot to look at this thing. Sure, a lot of things have changed. Hellfire, Ballista. And that's Urzabets. Remember, has refused. confident that I can do this. So this is what's nice is I can just set it and then I can just look because that's one, two, one, two. You know what? You know what? Let's declare a vendetta, capture places of power, and let's just say one in the next five turns. And I'll wager as much as I physically can. So I still can't move in here. Fine. 
I'm a Great Wheel of Pain. I'm the Regent. Uh, auction one. Hooray. So let me actually see in the diplomacy. Is there anything going on here? Is there any vent? So I've sent the rejection. I'm going to range twice. Yeah, that is, that is going to be a little bit of an issue. You know what? I'm just going to transfer in this to build up some more stuff. Still going to go one, two, one, two. So we have enough turns in there. One more victory to level up. Ugh. So, what do I even want to want? Infernal plus five and Infernal twice. This feels like a reasonable one to want to go for. So let me actually do two tribute requests. Swap this around. I'm going to go look at the powers. Oh, anytime I get to four, I get another order slot? Any time at all? Oh my god. 100 Huh. I misunderstood. some more of this. Scheme choices. We'll get bonuses. Order slots increase. Holy. That's insane, man. What happens if I keep going this way? Healing rate plus one? Infernal Juggernaut? Okay. All right, dude. I'm I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna keep moving. Keep this party hopping. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, little buddy. You're doing good. You're doing good, little Desper. Okay, dude, look at Murmur is out of control. Murmur's huge. All right, so I need tri tribute. I need a lot of ichor again, as every freaking time has shown. Give me the oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, uh, okay, Vendetta declared. I understand. Vendetta claim. Your claim of Vendetta has been validated by the Conclave? Excellent. So you, I want you to go from here to there. Because eventually I'm going to attack the Tower of Power. Um, this Hellfire Ballista is a problem. I'm gonna get this one. Place the bit. Oh my god, shit. Oh my god. No, that's so bad. Sort. Oh god, that sucks. Wow, that's, that's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm ruined. I'm, comp it's over for me. I'm devastated. Sure, it's all. 
I mean, this this sucks. This is truly the worst thing in the universe. Okay, so let me let me go back and look at my objectives. I need to capture a place powerful mermaid. Need to defend myself from Elizabeth, but I mean, she's just she's just gonna completely crap on me, and that's fine. What what's an infernal affliction? I assume the rituals. Infernal negotiations. I don't I don't understand what that is. So at this point in time, I'm going to try to... Wait, wh why do I not claim the square? Can you only claim by moving one? Yeah, believe me, I know. I mean, it died so fast. Ranged twice on the Hellfire Ballista. I mean, jeez. So wh why did it not claim the one that I ended on. It's crazy. You only claim what you hit in the end, and only if it's adjacent to a canton you own. Fucking hello. But on the Eden Archfiend with the least prestige receives 10 prestige. From each other Archfiend. All right, well, that's not me. Archfiend with the fewest tribute tokens receives three random tokens from each other Archfiend. There you go. Uh, let's see here. So... So the Tower of Prize, this is, this is trivially easy for me to smash down, huh? Alright, Vendetta continues, Vendetta completed. Alright, we got those, we got those, this is all good, this is all good. So now, I'm pleased to announce that the Bazaar will let me get the Praetor Astartes. Place bid, auto select, pay, don't even care. Okay, um, is there any other good artifacts? Deceit plus one, prestige plus one. I feel like we can start to... Oh, we don't have enough cash. Six and five of these. I'm just gonna get this. Slightly awkward, but I mean, the fact of the matter is, I, I want to do something with all this money that I've earned, and these will be generating three prestige a turn. Tyrus says, would it be worth pivoting towards preparing to take Pandemonium? Like, I don't know. I'm actually not sure. Okay. My unholy fountain is still up. Yeah, I mean, basically, I'm just slowly generating a bunch of prestige from a bunch of these locations. The Unholy Fountain, I'm probably going to put another artifact in. The stats on Pandemonium, like a billion, a billion, a billion. 11, 13, 17. 
Actually, now I think of it, like the this Hellfire Ballista would crush it, right? getting a bonus from having this one nearby. Oh, shit. And now I just die. I did not think about the positioning of the adjacent things. That's terrible for us. Well, they'll come back eventually, right? <laughs> well, I mean, that was terrible news. All right, how long till that stuff comes back? Well, I have this, I have that. The beggar. Okay, okay, so. Turn 37? Oh, that is... Oh, that is... That is bad news. I need more legions right away. How much money to get this? Way too much. What's adamant for? Oh, we are in such bad shape. I have, I have no thing. Okay, no, this is fine. This is fine. I know how to come out on top in hell. So I actually want to look at this battle that we lost down here. This, this thing, this is what is just smacking me. This thing, because normally this is one, four, and three. And my thing has 18 damage, and I want 18 compared to 4. Yeah, no, we're definitely going to one-shot the Tower of Pride. And the accused of Murmur was just standing next to it. Oh my god. This is level 5. Gross. <laughs> oh god, it looks so stupid. Alright, so let me tribute, tribute. Alright. Alright, gosh, man. Ruling hell is tough. And I'm realizing how much work Murmur did in those early rounds, just picking off the striders again and again to be able to get to high levels, to be able to equip all these Praetors. And I mean, now now it really feels like Murmur is in the lead. Murmur's a duke, I'm a duke. There's a bet's a duke. Murmur just kept quiet. I think I should have rushed for um, three orders quicker than I did. Oh, I wonder, are there any more neutral of these that I could take? I mean, basically what I've been doing is just relying on these places of power for generating. So, when you say go for six orders, like, does pretty much everyone have six orders by the end of every game? the regent. <laughs> oh my god, I am so fucked. Okay, so it's a 40 turn game. 
So w what's the most common way that people get towards that? Because I'm realizing that now I'm like, man, I really should have gotten this leveled up way faster. Because this is... I mean, this is just not that expensive to get to. And then also in the bazaar, we have the Stygian Guard, which I don't have enough for. Again, let me actually go to Sanctum. Can't I'm cancel this order. This should give us just enough to get Stygian, right? No, 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 no. Not, not enough yet. Okay. So I go to the bazaar and I look at some of the other artifacts. Yeah, if one of these gave order plus one. I still haven't learned what a manuscript is. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to get some tributes, and I'm going to go back to my sanctum, and I'm going to level this up to four. Auto select. No, this this makes... Okay, so now... <laughs> as I'm starting to realize that I'm completely fucked in my first game of Solium Inferno multiplayer... I think that what I need to do is I need to get to a plus four power and be on the lookout for additional orders early on. Pete's Tiger says, you would be admitting that you lost, but you could always request to become Murmur's blood vassal. Oh. Isn't there an artifact that... Or what's the thing that I can choose that makes it so that if they win, but I'm the vassal, I win instead? It's a relic, that's right. And those are those are pre-game. Damn it! Um, what do we do? All right. All right. I yeah. I know. I needed to get more orders early on. And then I don't know. May, maybe we can actually just go extremely greedy with tributes and orders and just chill for a few turns, and then try to burst out with some sort of insane play in the last few turns. Maybe that's what we can do. All right, he's back. Go, Mamon, go! <laughs> Welcome back. So how how do I how do I get Murmur X communicated? Yeah, yeah, Dusky dude, we also had a huge army, so we could have been a lot more aggressive early game. But, like, as a player, almost always my brain thinks long-term. So it's like control decks and magic. Economy plays in RTS games. I want these two. So this is the second one that I want. Tribute. One more turn remaining. One more. Oh, my God. I, I mean, it's going to be turn 37 until I have anything. Power upgrade. Okay, so let's keep going to the powers. Six and fifteen. Oh my god. I'm gonna. literally going to puke on air. I can't believe it. I'm going to burst into tears. What do I need? I need the two on the left. Let's turn. Wait a minute. So, sort, and we need two on the left. It's worried I had more than nine. No need to worry, because I'm never going to sleep again. See, I can't, I can't make any demands from anyone. Okay, 
yeah, no, I, I, I'm, we're just gonna be, like, I'm literally a heal for a few turns. This is it. Why are you consolidating? Because I couldn't rank up to level four. I'm not even dead as against Murmur if you won. I think, like, I mean, at the start of the game, I was doing impactful things, but as time has gone on, people have been outscaling their armies because they've been, um, fighting more of the neutral monsters and, frankly, just being aware of and focusing on leveling this up. And also, um, they've been equipping more Praetors and buffs to their various units. I was just doing all sorts of anything. How can I track how many uh, battles I've had successfully won against one person? Because then maybe I'll blood feud somebody dude holy shit this hellfire ballista is nuts I love this guy I don't know anything about this map Tribute. Okay, this, this, this. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Do you, do you hear how sad I am? Devastated I am at my own decision making? It's tough to be day nine today. It's tough. But now watch. Here we go. Powers, level four. Auto select. Hey. He must pay. All right, I'm gonna get another level four. I don't know, maybe I'll charisma it up. I can't believe how unbelievably affordable these levelings up are. I can't believe it. It's crazy. I mean, I'm like, I'm literally yoked. So how many of these have I... Where does it say how many times I have hosed the villain? Then I'm dropping a Dark Crystal reference out of nowhere. Dude, average game guy. I do that way too much. Cover over Blood Feud. Uh, but where is Blood Feud? Like, where? I need the where. Oh, it's over Declare. one vendetta. I think I've only done the one vendetta. I've literally only done one vendetta. This is... I'm devastated. I thought I was the Dragon Knight. I thought I was cool. Okay. Improve destruction. Charisma. Right? Tribute. <laughs> And then, not in Diplomacy, but in the Bazaar, I can finally get one thing in a little bit. So I need more of these two. All right, done. So this is why I like just hopping into a game and having good things happen and then getting smacked very abruptly is that it allows me to then understand and think about the entire set of everything that has happened <laughs> and like replan for future stuff. Oh, are these two gonna fight? Oh, yeah. Oh, do it. Let's go, Murmur. Play to Success, the sponsor stream is gonna convert so many, including me, just on the shit I would have done X differently. You know, I, I think that this is one of the things that I. I, I think that my favorite part of the game, period, is that you only have two or three orders and that everything takes orders. Um, that's really nice. Because, first of all, it, it 
it makes me not get overwhelmed. Because I'm because for instance, I just lost my main army, and I'm like, well, crap. I guess I'll just sit here and build up tribute and level up for a few turns. And then I'm immediately not worried about a bunch of other stuff. You know, there's games that are turn-based where there's like an army and a city, and uh, each city has its own set of construction. And then there's, you know, just to make some things up, there's the residential that has their actions, the industrial that has their actions, the commercial that has their actions. And then at some point you are doing three or four simple actions in 70 different places. And like each turn kind of has this sludginess to it. And it doesn't feel like the game's driving forward. Um, four actions. So we need Hellfire. Hellfire, some of these, some of those, some of these. So now I can Bazaar up, Stygian Guard, place the bid, auto select. He must pay. Um, actually, hold on, hold that thought, hold on, let me cancel that order. Let's go back to the, to the Sanctum. I'm not doing this shit. I'm not doing, I'm gonna go back, go back to the Bazaar, I'm gonna place a bid on this turkey. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look in the Sanctum Powers. So this needs a little more fire. A little more fire, a little more soul. So I'm going to do a consolidation. Seek manuscripts? I mean, frankly, I just need more of these mushed together. That is... Uh, okay. Uh, back room. What is this? Oh my god. The Megaton Seal. Dude, the art on these is also great. This is just beautiful. Okay. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Look at this. Sanctum powers. Ability early access. An additional item of each type is displayed at the bazaar. What? Yo. Okay. Dude, like, before I play the next game, I want to read through all of this. Because I have not actually done enough with this at all. And next time I play, I definitely want to try to do more stuff with the ritual ritual chambers. But I think that these, these are hard for me because they are, one, temporary. They do a single thing. Uh, until you wind up removing it. And then it has that upkeep cost. And so because I didn't actually have a feel or a sense of what the economy numbers were or the short-term, long-term risk reward of doing any of these things, I was just like, meh, <laughs> I'll leave that for a future game and I just didn't worry about it. Um, so turn 37, I'm gonna get my guy back. I'm actually gonna get the Stygian, which is nice. I don't think I actually have anything else. No, I have that. Both of them are here. Got Zul doing things. Any, any good Praetors? Dark Marshal. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna do it in this order and just not worry about it. Not gonna worry about it at all. That audio. 
Oh my, ugh. Get him. Oh my god, he's headbutt puking on him. Oh my god. Let's go murmur. Okay. I mean, Murmur is still ahead, but I mean, I, I am gaining a lot of prestige just every single day. This is... Because this gives uh, prestige. This is prestige plus one. This is prestige plus one. So it's prestige plus two. Prestige plus three total. It's just good stuff. We need more... I just want to double check in the sanctum, in the powers. We should be short on fire, right? That's the only thing we really need more of is fire. Fire. And we're still short on stuff. All right. I am the regent. One legion belonging to a random arch rival fiend is just disappears. Auto select. He must pay. <laughs> All right, who's gonna lose their shit? Do I have any more of these? These were failed. Capture two places of power or defeat a legion in the same turn you use an infernal affliction. Okay. Lake Precious Wrath, Tash Praetor, so we still need some more Hellfire. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what happens. You know, let's let's do Capricious Wrath first. I have to do Capricious Wrath first have to do capricious wrath first we have to we have to get something could be your legion being hit too snes chalmers how dare you root against me in that way that's so mean won't happen till the end of the turn well fuck my tribute huh Dude, the bolstering effect is gigantic. And there's this huge Melissa here. Alright. Alright, is it my turn? Alright, I'm praying toward up. Okay. Welcome back. Man, there that thing was dead for so many turns, my main dudes. Turn 37 from heaven. The Devourer has been destroyed! Oh my god. <laughs> yes, we got the big guy, yes. Alright, where's my Hellfire, huh? Give me this, give me this. Give me that, give me that. Hellfire. Hey, excellent. Chains of Avarice. Hey, hey, get off the keyboard. Reject. Oh, yeah. Capricious Wrath. Great. Alright. So, we're gonna go to the Sanctum. We're gonna do some powers. We're gonna get my salt death. Auto collect. He must pay. Alright. So, and then also the Blood of Astroth. I wanna transfer the Praetors. Oh, wait, there's another... I need another Praetor. So I already have... This one is plus four melee and range last. K. 
Okay, so let's see if I can get some more Praetors to buff this turkey. So we do range last. I want something different here, though. I mean, can't afford any of this shit, can I? You know, I I'm just gonna get this cheap guy. Then, okay, so if I look, so I think that what I need to do is on this turn, yeah, because this is capture two plays of power control by an opponent, defeat a legion on the same turn you used infernal affliction on it. So that means that what I need to do is I need to go to diplomacy, I need to go to murmur, Okay. Time is it 5.35? Dude, I need to leave in 10 minutes. I have to get to the optometrist before they close. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I really need to instigate Murmur super hard. It's okay, I'll create a Twitch poll and you'll vote on who wins. And then I'll lose that and be like, no! Man, like, like, I'll be real with you. So, I'll be real with you in a second. Everyone shut up. Can you imagine if I did this and just thumped this due to the enormous melee advantage that I have? But yeah, so like the fact that you are so constricted on your ability to do stuff due to, oh, everything takes an order. I only have one order. And there's a lot of different things to do. In the hell is that? It means that things happen pretty snappy. Things are pretty fast. And and it's like engaging in a way that games like, you know, there's so many grand strategy games that kind of flatten once you get into later turns. The people drums in a blaze of light, the Angelicos descended, vowing to vanquish one legion from each great house. What are the Who's is this? I just got my guy back. delivered. Yep. Power upgraded. Yep. So now I have five slots. Auction one. Barakia. So this has a total sum of 21. 22 power, excuse me. So this is a total sum of 24 power. Um, I, I don't actually know what will happen now. Like, I literally don't want to leave. OK. 
Okay. Did I cancel it? Hate everyone. Um, dude, I had no idea it was so easy to get this many. Oh man, that's good. Okay. All right, this is this is this is the last turn. This is the last one. So if this is coming, then this is definitely dead. This is definitely dead. Yeah, there's some really beautiful art in this game, and it's a really nice blend of like the 3D models on the battlefield emphasize clarity and have those really like not noisy textures like the snow is very smooth and flat yeah there's some rocks but sort of large rocky chunks you know like these things here and then the illustrations just go go out of control Yeah, so, so the reason we, why we need to leave is that when we get to turn 40, the Conclave assembles. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my god, yeah, belt it out. When you get to turn 40, the Conclave assembles, and then there's a few more turns where the final resolutions occur. Are your eyes really even that important? Yeah, no, I mean, they're important enough for me, and maybe I'm being a little out of line with that. No. My wife has the car. I think I can walk to the optometrist in time. Dude. Dude, the ballista. Oh, that's right. It does ranged twice. Oh, this is not how I thought the math was going to work. Okay, holy. This is not how I thought the math would work. Because I thought it was 21 to 18. So I thought it would be uh, uh, 18... Or 21 minus 18 is 3, and I thought we'd do 21 minus 18 is 3. What was the stratagem here? Is that, is that my contacts? Oh my god, okay. It does? Okay, like, okay, so there was something that occurred there that I'll need to check the battle report message. Reduced range three to six. Oh my god. The angels have no business in hell. Alright, now let me let me tell you the cool part. Let me tell you the cool part. I need to quit the main menu. Because I need to now go march to get my contact lenses. Which I hate to say it. I value my eyeballs. But I feel like this is the coolest part. Here is where every single game that I'm in the middle of playing is running. And this, I have a week to finish each turn. So if there's 10 more turns, I can spend the next 10 weeks doing it once a week. Or maybe if it's on a faster timer. I think that's one of the real brilliancies of the design of this game. It's like fully asynchronous. Or you can do what we did just now and have everyone just kind of battling all at the same time. Uh, let me once again thank League of Geeks for helping put this all together where I didn't just get to learn the tutorial but I actually got to play a multiplayer game live with devs um, 
Holy shit. Because, like, I gotta be honest. One of the things that I think is very daunting about grand strategy games is that it feels like I need to be good at grand strategy and know a lot about the complexities and know a lot about the possibilities before I can start having fun, before I can start learning. Um, in this, you're just backstabbing each other and declaring war and losing stuff and trying again, trying again, trying again. And Wolf Lady, yeah. What about the other three players? Do they wait or can they go start new games? You can have as many games running. I think it's up to 10. You can just have as like as many games you want, basically. I mean, I guess, I guess if you're upset that you can't play the 11th game, then make a new Steam account and you'll be fine. But, um... It's kind of like in chess, where you can have like 10 games of chess going on your phone and you just take one turn a day. That's pretty sick. Oh, man. Well, this is, this is brilliant, because historically, if I can't finish a game, oh, I gotta go, because I gotta go to the doctor, man. That's it, it's gone, but like, I have 168 hours to take my next turn. Oh, oh, it is so good. So with that, I'm going to depart, because I need to go to the dock. Uh, but once again, if you uh, go to Steam and look up Solium Infernum, I keep saying Solium Infernum because I like mispronouncing things and making people cringe. A Solium Infernum, it's out on Steam now. Turn uh, 39 to 40. It's 39 to 40 to then start the Conclave voting, which is another 5 to 13 turns. Um, but yeah, this game has been a legend sort of floating in the background since 2009 when it was originally created and has just gotten the remake with the modern graphics and modern functionality that I'm really excited that you don't actually have to email your turns to each other anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna bounce. Uh, tomorrow we're doing Last Epoch, and on Thursday we're doing Last Epoch. Next week we have Mostly Walking on Monday. I'm gonna do Balatro and Deep Rock Galactic Survivor the day after that. Not sure what I'm gonna do on Thursday, we'll see. Um, might even do some more Age of Empires 2 in celebration of Home Story Cup. I'm going to be doing Blizzard Month starting at the end of March. And then, of course, all through April. And Elden Ring expansion after that. It's fantastic. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. You're all amazing and charming and delightful. Goodbye.